Tarlac is one of the most multicultural provinces in the Philippines, consisting of Tagalogs, Ilocanos, Kapampangans, and Pangasinans. The name of the province of Tarlac was derived from the Spanish word Malitarlac, which means different types of grass. Since the province is known for its vast fields, it is no surprise that there are load of tourist spots in Tarlac involving outdoor activities and eco-friendly tourist destinations such as the stunning Mount Damas and the Ansap Twin Falls. So if you're up to a mixture of activities, here are the 12 best tourist spots in Tarlac. 1. Monasterio de Tarlac One of the most popular tourist destinations that religious devotees must visit is the Monasterio de Tarlac. Established in 2001, the monastery was built 300 meters uphill on the Sambalis mountain range at Mount Resurrection Eco Park, Barangay Lubigan, San Jose, Tarlac. With its beautiful landscape and scenery, the Monasterio de Tarlac has become a sanctuary for reflecting and reconnecting faith. 2. Tarlac Recreational Park For adrenaline junkies and fun-filled family adventures with friends or family, visit the Tarlac Recreational Park. The 78-hectare park offers a wide range of outdoor activities and is filled with different amenities such as a football field, race track, ovals, two large kids' swimming pools, and an Olympic-sized swimming pool. They also have pavilions, cottages, a sound system, barbecue grills, tables, and chairs that can be rented throughout the day. 3. Capis National Shrine, a historic landmark in the province. The Capis National Shrine is the exact area where the Batan Death March ended. The site was a former concentration camp that now serves as a monument for the Allied forces of around 60,000 to 80,000 US and Filipino soldiers and Czechs and Slovaks, who fought with the Japanese in 1942 at the Battle of Batan during World War II. The Capis National Shrine was built by the Philippine government to remember the deaths of thousands of soldiers at Camp O'Donnell who were forced to walk over 83 kilometers, from Marivals and Bagap, up to San Fernando. 4. Bolsa River, another must-visit for the adrenaline junkies. Bolsa River is a 12.5-kilometer stream, running for about 3 to 4 hours, ideal for kayaking. It is rated as a Class 2 river offering the perfect excitement for novice kayakers, with its smooth to slightly rapid flow and clear routes in between rocks. Bolsa River is operated by the professional team of Rapid Stream Eco Tours, ensuring that adventurers are safe and complete with essential gears. The stream starts at Mamat Mountain Village and increases its speed moderately after rowing a couple of hours, and reveals a breathtaking view of towering mountains afar. 5. Kart City Tarlac Apart from outdoor adventures, Kart City Tarlac is another great tourist destination in town for thrill-seeker tourists located near SM City Tarlac. Established in 2005, the facility features a world-class 700-meter racing kart track, European go-karts, and laps timer system for racing activities. Before the race, riders are briefed in a waiting area and provided with racing suits, gears, and lockers to ensure that the guests' belongings are secured and to avoid dropping any item during the race. Kart City Tarlac is also famous for serving mouth-watering pizzas, grilled foods, Filipino cuisine, beers, and features video rooms and game room sports bar. 6. Ansap Twin Falls Located at the summer capital of Tarlac at Mayanta, Barangay Bigbiga. Ansap Twin Falls is a natural gem hidden beyond Tarlac's Osseo New Zealand afforestation project. The 200 feet high waterfall is considered the tallest waterfall in Tarlac, surrounded by abundant foliage and one of the three Twin Falls found in the Philippines. 7. Mount Telekawa Other than river adventures, Tarlac boasts the majestic beauty of Mount Pinatubo that erupted back in 1991. And if you're in search of a thrilling activity in the area, there is no better place to visit than to hike and camp at Mount Telecawa. Located at the foot of Mount Pinatubo, Mount Telecawa measures 645 meter elevation, featuring the breathtaking view of Mount Pinatubo and the surrounding Lahar land. A tour uphill will consist of trekking, exploring an Ita village, visiting a goat farm where hikers get their water source, and camping at the summit. So a trip to Mount Telekawa is an exciting and refreshing experience. 8. Aquino Center Museum 
for history enthusiasts, visit the Aquino Center Museum situated at Hacienda Luisita, San Miguel, to learn and recollect Philippine history. The facility was designed by Francisco Manosa, a renowned Filipino architect, and built to pay tribute to the late couple Senator Benino, Ninoith Aquino Jr. and President Corazon Corif Aquino for fighting for Philippine democracy. The Aquino Center Museum features compilations of images and relics displaying the Aquino family's legacy and contribution to Philippine history. It features the lives of Corazon and Ninoe and shows two videos regarding Ninoe's journey. Also, there are artworks displayed and Ninoe's personal belongings, including the jacket he wore when he was shot dead at the Manila International Airport. 9. JSJ Goat Farm Whether you love goat farming or hoarding goat cheese products, Heading to JSJ Goat Farm is a new experience. The 10-hectare pasture was established in 2001 and is a family-operated business that started as a hobby. The founders Jeffrey and Kathleen first had not more than 10 goats and now breed around 300 goats and sheep, including Dorpers, Anglo-Nubian, Boar, British Alpines, and Sonnen. They also offer day tours at the farm educating visitors about goat farming and different breeds of goats, and watching the process of milking goats. Furthermore, JSJ Goat Farm offers top-of-the-line breeds S as they imported Australian goats in 2005 and sell specialty goat milk cheeses like Aussie feta cheese and Kasong Puri. 10. Mount Damas If you're looking for extreme outdoor activity, hiking up Mount Damas is the place to go. Mount Damas is one of Tarlac's most picturesque mountains and a major hiking spot. The hike will take about 1 to 2 days or 4 to 5 hours and will involve trekking at steep routes, rivers, rappelling down a waterfall, and crossing rope segments to the site. It is also rated with 6 nines difficulty to hike up Mount Damas, measuring 685 meters above sea level. So ensure that you're all geared up before hiking. There are also rivers along the trail, Nipa huts for resting and has a scenic view of the central Luzon mountains. Mount Damas is accessible through San Clemente Dugri settlement, the major jump-off point, or can be accessed at the alternate route at Barangay Papat, Camiling Tarla. 11. Abad Falls A must-stop for all hikers heading to Mount Damas. Abad Falls is a 120-foot-tall straight waterfall hidden in the mountain. To reach the site, Follow the river track upstream where you will see two small waterfalls. The one is shorter and the taller curvy one is known as CL Falls. It will require climbing rope segments on the left side of CL Falls to reach Abbott Falls, which will be challenging for the less physically fit. From CL Falls, it will take around 15 minutes to witness the enchanting beauty of Abbott Falls. This spot is the perfect place to cool off and enjoy a dip from the cold water before heading down the jump-off point. 12. Kaleo Falls Another natural wonder tucked in the Mayantuck town, Kaleo Falls or Kolo Falls, located at Barangui San Jose, is a popular tourist destination for hikers. The spot is ideal for a short stopover that can surely relieve stress. Kaleo Falls' name came from the local Kolo bird, or Rufus Hornbill that once resides in the area now reported as endangered, and only a few can be spotted on Kaleo Falls. There is also a small waterfall hidden behind the granite rocks, where visitors can dive into a deep ravine.